A new faction with new maps and a new campaign. The Egyptian faction. We're going to ask the question, is this a new overpowered faction or is it well balanced? Now, we just briefly explored this in the last video when we looked at the architect, which was one of the special units. For a second, I thought this guy had cheese on his head. No, he's not from Wisconsin. He has a pyramid, a small one used as some kind of a helmet. He has this mysterious staff. I'm gonna guess he's a magician. We've got some whippers. Now, whips, I don't know, because I, I feel like most units will get hurt by it, but some might actually like it. Now, we'll get back into the action, but first, let me tell you about an exciting game called Infinite Galaxy. Now, this is an epic next-gen space game with immersive action that will leave you wanting more and more. War has broken out across the galaxy, and it's up to you to build a massive flagship, explore the galaxy, form an alliance and lead your crew to victory against all of the enemy warships who are merciless. Recruit heroic crew members to fight alongside you while building and upgrading your tech. And you can even turn your spaceport into a powerful deadly base. You can build and develop 30 different types of warships, form massive fleets, and discover and build new extremely powerful flagships. Throughout the galaxy, you can fight against or work side by side with millions of commanders in real time, and you can leave your mark as the best commander in history. So what are you waiting for? Discover the secrets of space and become the greatest commander to ever live. Download Infinite Galaxy now for free by clicking the link in the description below. And a special thanks to Infinite Galaxies for sponsoring today's video, and I'll meet you on the battlefield. Now let's get back to the action. So when fighting them, we have to decide what are we going to use? Now the test is, you know what? Let's just send a bunch of hobbits and learn about our enemy. You know, we're gonna send expendable units because we don't know what these guys do. We could probably kill them with muskets, but that wouldn't be fun. We must learn. Now I think they create dust storms. Okay, that's very thematic for an Egyptian faction that these wizards I guess their lore of magic would be the lore of the desert, potentially. The whips uh, aren't doing the best at defeating the hobbits, but man, the sun, the sandstorm. Oh my God, they're creating sandstorms. That's what it is. It's a sandstorm. It's a doo 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 doo. By the way, man, when I was a little kid and I heard that song, I was like, oh my God, that is the coolest song I've ever heard. Okay, you got to think about that. It's like the dawn of techno back in the day. Well. Hobbits, not the best, but now that we know what the enemy's got, we know how to fight them. And that's gonna be our approach here. Learn about the enemy and then defeat them at range with muskets, guys, you're supposed- to I told you to take his staff. Shoot the magicians. This should not be that hard. Oh God, okay, we messed up, we messed up. We need a cheaper range unit. Archers, a hobbit, a guy with a sword and two musketeers for good measure. Ooh, yeah, they have these beautiful golden or maybe they would be bronze shields because you'd have to imagine these guys, if they had golden shields back in the, you know, Egypt, the, the time of high Egypt, they would be the most expensive shields. Guys, just, I mean, I, why am I always having to tell them what to do? Oh, that was a beautiful shot. That one went right under his helmet. What do you guys want to make a bet that when they throw this pot, like a snake or a spider or some kind of nasty creature comes out of it? That's that's my bet right now. These guys look like they've got... Are those boomerangs? Wait a minute. This isn't... Hold on. Sandy desert, hostile crocodiles in the water, but a giant pyramid. No, this isn't Australia. Th th those can't be boomerangs, right? Now... Like I said, the discovery process is very, very important for us here. Now, this was probably going to come as a shock to many of you, but this is not an official faction. This is a modded faction. This is a modded map. And these are some of the best maps and factional units that I've seen in tabs for a long time. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. They're giant. What? Are those cobras? Yep, they're definitely cobras. Whoa. Let's try to get a look at that. Y you can see on the underside of the cobra, it makes a skull. That is how detailed these units are. Now, unfortunately, hobbits don't like snakes. I mean, who really does? And they have a poisoning effect on the units. So the guys holding the baskets hold dangerous animals. Confirmed. And these guys, they are boomerang guys I, I i didn't know egypt was known for having boomerangs by the way this projectile speed on these boomerangs is pretty incredible all right i know how to beat them now that we've performed our test it comes down to defeating our enemies we are going to use one of my favorite units to disrupt enemy lines the berserkers now we need cheap 
ranged units, and I often find that archers are the best for that purpose. And then if you need a lot of chaff units, I feel like painters are pretty good. They're $50. They have a dodge mechanic in them, so they're not just like regular peasants. So they have a chance of blocking, or dodging rather, projectiles. And uh, the berserkers are doing their thing, and look at how easy that is. I mean, obviously we have all of the tabs factions available to us. Now we're defending the holy, it's not a temple, right? They were burial sites, these pyramids. And the golden tip, just the tip, just to see how it feels. Oh, they've got architects. Okay. Oh, we've got a riotous waterfall over there. Is there a third bridge over here? No, there are only two crossing points. Hmm. You know what could work is a Valkyrie. They're expensive, but they can fly. If they can fly over the walls, then we have a chance. And I'm thinking range was how we beat the architects in our last video. So let's do that. All right. The muskets, one musket ball went through the wall. Ooh, and it didn't look like it hit anybody. But the arrows are finding their targets, albeit slowly. And that just seemed like a waste of $500. Yes, one of the architects over here is dead. Let's check in with the middle where it looks like we're actually winning. Archer, you may not want to stand too close to that. See, that's what happens. Fire, gentlemen, you may fire when ready. Please be ready really fast. Oh God, this is bad. All right, flank. The flank and the spank. Yes! That was like right in his... Well, it turns out it might be in his large intestine. I thought it was a heart shot. A perfect critical hit. We could go to the old Wild West faction and get a gunslinger. A dead eye. But now we're pretty much out of money. All right, I'm gonna need to control this guy. All right, hope I, I hope that did something. I just can't get killed by the walls. All right. Uh-oh. Did I kill anybody with that? All right, now we gotta get over this bridge while there's sandstorms going on. Deadeye, yes, Deadeye's taking him out. Okay, I've just gotta distract them. These guys are very, very powerful. Yes, the rainstorm of bullets was able to take out two of them. Okay, remember when I said this is in Australia, but we were looking to see what dangerous animals, look at this. It's a crazy angry crocodile and dudes with kopeshes now. Okay, they're, they're holding multiple kopeshes. So I'm wondering if they're not going to throw them. Now I have a lot of money. Can I just D-Day them? Look, this is crocodile D-Day invasion right here. So let's see just how good a crocodilian is. Oh, they do the rolls. Okay, that's very accurate. I do like that. Uh, Now, can the crocodiles survive the water? They, I think they can't. They're not dying. Most other units die when they get in the water. Okay, that's good. I was going to say, if crocodiles die, then that's stupid. Just flat out dumb. Dynamite. All dynamite. All the time. Uh-oh. How many of my men <laughs> are gonna die right there? I don't even think we killed the crocodile. Even This guy survived like 30 dynamite. This is the most overpowered faction I've ever seen. This unit alone. What about exploding barrels in the alligator's mouths? We haven't tried that yet. But I, I just feel like if you try a hundred different strategies and they don't work, you it starts to ask the question, is this overpowered? The answer is probably yes. We're gonna buy a ballista. If these barrels don't kill him in one shot, oh my God. They didn't even, exploding barrel versus crocodile and dude in crocodile suit. What can even kill these things? All right, what we did was we just made one super force. Okay, what we need to do is not do that. Not put them there. We need to put them somewhere else sort of safe. And hopefully they won't knock the dudes in the water. Like, look at that guy survived so many shuriken. Uh oh, there they are. Focus, use your training, boys. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Come on, ninjas. All you needed was a good, well-trained group of ninjas, apparently. And to put all your force in one spot. That was the one thing we didn't do. There's still some guys alive. How many? Oh, that's, okay, good. They're getting stuck on the palm trees now. <laughs> yes, come on, get the last one. Jeez. I thought the architect, wait a minute, it's not over yet? Oh no. I only have four left. Five. Well, this guy's got a Kopesh sword sticking through his clavicle bone. I'm surprised he can even use his left arm. All right, I don't think we lost a guy yet out of these four. Wait, I only see three, now there's two. Okay, we've lost, nope, three. He was just hiding. I fall over. There we go. Just keep, just keep doing it. Keep doing it. To think there's only like one counter and it's only because they derped out. That guy has a very small head. Is this the last guy alive? Cause somehow they survived the water. I think I'm missing. Oh my goodness. Okay, that is the worst mission I've ever played in tabs. Crocodile riders are overpowered. I don't care what you say. Uh, what do we do? I have to fight more of them? Oh my God, make it stop. Oh, they've got freaking cobras. I don't know how to do this. 
Wow. All right, so what we need to do is just ascertain just how overpowered this unit really is. We're gonna go to the Egyptian faction and we're gonna find, is it the Beastmaster? It is the Beastmaster. This guy costs $800. That's, that's a joke. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna spend $800. Now, let's see if the crocodile or the guy die against eight swordsmen. Cause they say life's about balance, right? This, but Tabs never really was. Okay, the crocodile's still alive and so is our warrior, right? Okay, so $800. Now, what if we did, I'm gonna use 3,200, four times the equivalent value. And I, I, I'm not sure if either of these guys are gonna die. Look at the alligator. <laughs> okay, the, the crocodile's dead. Okay, wait a minute. So if you have four times the money, so let's do three times the money. Crocodile death roll. All right, so this guy's getting ganked now. Wait a minute. Now they can do it with quantity. Red victory. All right, so what about two times? Is two enough? The crocodile's already dead. This guy's doing so, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, so even with two times the monetary value, now we can test with another unit. And this unit, I feel like, should be good. Two versus one. All right, the crocodile does death roll, taking one of the guys out. And okay, so now we're gonna raise it by 400. Just how overpowered. If you guys have a unit you think would be really good at fighting this, please let me know because it'd be really fun to try to ascertain what is exactly going on. But one of the other things that I really wanted to do was we need to go to Sandbox and we need to see Egypt 2. We never even got to Egypt too. It looks like they're building a Sphinx. Wait a minute, what, what's in the hole? Oh man, something happens in that hole, doesn't it? This level looks awesome. I like the little dog statue. There is a lot going on here. Whoa, what's this? What is that? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 what? Wait a minute, was that the warrior of Ra? Oh my God, I think he was right here. Actually, and we just saw the tip of his spear. Is this what the warrior of Ra looks like? Wait, what's that? Is this a secret unit? Nope, it's just somebody's head. Guys, there is so much more going on in the Egypt faction. If you guys do want to see more, we'll pull the trigger on that like button and let me know. And I'll see you in the next one where we discover the secrets of Egypt.